Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for another pregnancy update. This will be for weeks 34 and 30. No, this is for weeks 33 and 34. So if you're interested to see how me and baby girl are doing, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into the symptoms because I feel like that's probably the most, um, like the biggest reason why people watch these. They wanna know like how I'm feeling. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but everyone asks when you're pregnant, they ask how you're feeling. And I wanna, like, I wonder if they are really wondering how I'm feeling um, or if it's just kind of a thing you say to pregnant women. Um, because if they ask me how I'm feeling, I feel like I can go on and on about all the things I'm feeling. So I mentioned in the last update that I was really swollen. And yes, I am still very swollen, um, especially by the end of the day. Um, I ha did have an appointment with, with my doctor a week ago and he checked me, um, like checked my swelling and checked um, like my blood pressure and stuff. and everything looked fine. He said, you know, you're just pregnant. Like this is just a symptom of pregnancy is swelling. I would say that's my number one, like complaint with this, um, as far as symptoms go right now. And a big reason why that it's so uncomfortable, the swelling for me has been because it's like, my fingers are so swollen that it's making my fingers go numb and, um, or they like hurt. And my doctor did say that um, it is carpal tunnel. It's a totally normal pregnancy symptom um, that I'm feeling in my wrists and especially my fingers. Um, the past, like in my last update, I was mentioning how they, my fingers like hurt and they still hurt, but they're also like going numb sometimes. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and my fingers are just numb. So that's a really weird feeling and definitely not something um, that is comfortable or easy to deal with. Um, but I just try to keep the perspective that this is all for baby and I can't control it. And as long as she is doing well, then that's all that matters. And I can deal with whatever symptom comes my way as long as I'm healthy and baby is healthy. The other day I took a bath that was lukewarm, um, almost cold. <laughs> not like cold, cold, but you know, room temperature maybe. And it felt so good. And it really, I don't know, it was a salt bath. Um, I did add some salt to it, just some bath salts. And um, I don't know, I think the combination of that and like the temperature really helped to relieve a lot of my swelling. When I got out of bed, I felt like I was able to walk around and um, you know, just um, feel a little bit better. So that might be my new thing is cold baths, I guess, which is so unlike me because I have been missing, like I've been like, I love hot, hot baths and I haven't really had one since I've been pregnant. So um, I guess now I'm into cold baths. I do feel like another thing that helps with sort of the pain of the swelling um, is just like going on a little short walk. Um, but if I walk too much or stand for too long, then it hurts. So it's a fine balance between making sure I'm active and like standing and walking enough and then sitting and keeping my feet elevated enough. So it's like a whole thing I'm dealing with you guys. It's like, ah, this is ruling my life right now. I'm just so grateful that I have such an awesome job where I can go um, into the office and feel comfortable enough to like, go sit in the comments room and work with my feet up or, um, you know, work from home if I need to. It's just, I just really appreciate my job right now because if I had to like, I don't know if my work situation was different and it was causing me to have to be on my feet all day long, that would be kind of rough. And we have like standing desks and so I can stand and then sit, you know, as much as I need to. So, um, I'm just super grateful that the work situation I'm in right now is very, um, for the most part, accommodating. The only thing that's really 
kind of hard, um, is I do take photos for my job and carrying the camera around and taking video of, or photos sometimes can be um, a little taxing, but I think over the next few weeks before I have baby, I'm not gonna have to do any of that kind of stuff, um, which is a relief. Most of my stuff can just be done at a computer with my feet elevated if I need to. I definitely still have acid reflux. Um, the other night it was waking me up in the middle of the night. I feel like I'm waking up for that and for the swelling and for like having to pee a million times. So I'm not getting, like as far as my sleep goes, I just I feel like I'm not getting as good of sleep as I have had been getting in the past. Um, but I'm still sleeping, so I'm not gonna be complaining about that. I'm grateful I'm getting some sleep. I have been getting lightning crotch pains. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what what they are. I've heard people talk about them. Like I'll be walking around and all of a sudden, or if I like stand up too quick, all of a sudden I will just get this like sharp pain and I'll just be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then it goes away. It doesn't linger or anything. Um, so that's kind of annoying because it really like, it, it just comes randomly and Maybe I'm just a spaz, but I just like react like my body, like just like, ah, it hurts. So that's fun. And of course I still have an achy tailbone. Um, I notice it mostly when I go from sitting to standing. It's kind of like, oh, brace yourself while I stand up. It takes like a second um, for me to deal with that sort of pain. But I guess that's pretty much it as far as symptoms go. The heartburn, the swelling, you know, and like the random little aches and pains, which are all normal. Like I said, we did meet with our doctor about a week ago and he said everything looked great. Um, he measured me, I was 33 weeks, weeks in a few days at that time. And he measured, I was measuring at 34 when he measured me. So, um, you know, I'm measuring a little bit ahead. This is the first time he's measured me and I've been measuring a little bit ahead. Um, but he like is not concerned about anything. Like he just thinks everything looks great. I have a healthy, um, pregnancy and he's very happy with it. And so am I. So nothing concerning there. Oh, they did make Eric and I get a tetanus shot. Um, so I needed one cause I guess everyone who's pregnant is supposed to get that around 30 to 31 weeks or something. So I was a little late on that, but, um, they also gave Eric one cause they suggest that, um, the dad get, make sure he's up to date on his tetanus shot. And it had probably been like eight years since Eric had had one. So he had to get a shot too, but, um, we're pros at sh shots nowadays. <laughs> um, well, at least I am. Eric did fine too, but, um, yeah, I mean, it It wasn't a fun shot because it's in your shoulder, like, arm, and it hurts. Like, it, after a couple days, it still was, like, tender. But for those of you who are new here, me and my husband did IVF in order to conceive this baby. And so we've had our fair share of shots. At least I have. I keep saying we. But Eric did help administer a lot of my shots. So we, we're in it together. Um, and, yeah, so we've had a lot of shots in order to get pregnant and keep the pregnancy um, healthy. Shots are no fun, but I'm just like surprised at how well I do with shots nowadays um, since going through IVF because man, I have always been such a scaredy cat with shots, but I'm good now, I think. And I hope I do well with the whole epidural situation too, because I am planning on having one. Um, and I know that's, you know, I don't know exactly how they do an epidural, but I know you you get a shot um, and there's needles involved and stuff. But I think had I not gone through IVF, I would be way more nervous for it. But I'm mostly just like, mm, all right, it is what it is. And I'm hoping an epidural will help me really enjoy labor more. And so it'll be worth it, I'm sure. So as far as weight gain goes, I talk about this in every um, pregnancy update that I do not weigh myself. I barely pay attention to it when I go to the doctor because I know I am gaining a lot of weight, but I'm not concerned about it because my doctor is not concerned about it. And I've had people come at my weight and it's like, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal to me really because 
it's not fun to talk about weight and like how much my body has changed even since just starting IVF. Um, since I've started IVF, I, I know when I did IVF, I gained almost 10 pounds just through IVF. And then, I, I mean, I don't even know what I'm at now, but I'm sure it's way more than I want to see on a scale, but I'm just not that concerned about it because like I said, my doctor isn't concerned about it. And um, I just feel like I'm going to bounce back. And a lot of this weight, like it's for, again, like I just think it's for the baby. Like I can't help. And a lot of it is like water weight and swelling. And like my boobs are huge. <laughs> like I can't, I can't help it. I'm trying my best to eat healthy and not go crazy on cravings or whatever. Um, but it is what it is. And everybody's body carries a pregnancy different. So I'm just, I'm really okay with it. And I'm not, um, trying to compare myself too much to other women and their pregnancies because all I care about is a healthy baby and a healthy mom. So as long as me and baby are healthy and we recover well from the birth and stuff, that's all I care about because I know there will be a time and place to get my body back. Um, and you know, um, unless my doctor is concerned with my weight, I'm not going to be concerned with it. So I will touch a little bit on cravings. Um, I haven't been craving anything crazy. Um, I sort of wish I was <laughs> so I could take advantage of it this last like month of being like, Oh, I have to have chocolate cake or whatever. Um, I still crave a lot of carbs. Like I want bread all the time, toast, bagels. Um, I still crave yogurt, especially Greek yogurt, like that thick texture always sounds really good and fruit. So those have all been kind of consistent throughout the whole pregnancy, but it's not like I have to have those things. Um, you know, it's just like stuff that I'm like, okay, yeah, I want that. And I still am enjoying salads a lot lately. Um, which is all like nothing, none of that has really changed the past couple months. So this past week, Eric and I went to a conference for, for work. Um, I vlogged that. So if you guys want to watch that, it's the last video I uploaded. Um, and that was really fun, but also kind of hard <laughs> on my body. Like the conference center is so big and getting from class to class was like, Oh, it was a little bit rough. And then walking from there to the hotel was a little rough. Um, but overall I thought I did pretty well. Um, and the hardest part I would say about that was just the fact that Eric and I um, slept together and we haven't been sleeping together the past like mm, couple weeks because my snoring is just so, so bad um, that Eric sleeps in the guest room. <laughs> and so, and he said he can still hear me snoring. So I feel I felt really bad about that, but there's nothing I can do, but he would like have to wake me up because it was so bad. He said that he like could not even like, it was just, he didn't get any sleep. <laughs> so I feel bad about that, but what are you going to do? At least it's temporary, right? Another thing that, um, happened in the past couple weeks, it actually happened today. Um, we had a little baby shower, like celebration at work since Eric and I both work for the same company. They did sort of this fun little lunch. Um, it was pretty casual. Men were even invited to it. And, um, Eric was there with me. So that was super fun. And they showered us with some gifts and that was just super nice of them. I did not expect so many gifts. Like this baby is very spoiled <laughs> already. So, um, that was just awesome. So we came home today from work with just bundles of gifts. And, um, if you guys are interested to see sort of like a baby shower haul or, um, I'm kind of sort of thinking that maybe I'll do, um, like baby, a baby haul, like things that we have for baby before she comes, I'll make that video and just show you kind of all the stuff we've gotten for her. Not all the stuff, like not all the clothes and things, but just some of the gear and maybe some of the outfits and clothes we have. But um, we did get a car seat in the past week, which was so great because that, I don't know why, but that just like was a relief to me <laughs> um, that we got the car seat and stroller thing. So I think just because it's like if we were to have her early, we would be okay. We'd be able 
like to take her home because <laughs> you have to have a car seat to take them home. Um, so I think that was just like super relieving for me. Um, my anxiety, cause I talked about anxiety and like a little bit of depression creeping back in. Um, I talked about that in my last update and for the most part, I feel like that has like, I've got that under control and things are, I hate saying like under control, but, um, just things are good right now. I'm not feeling like, um, overwhelmed with like those kinds of feelings anymore. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm pretty steady. So that's great. I'm really happy for that. So in the next couple weeks, um, I'm excited because we're going to be doing some other like little celebrations. I, I've mentioned that I don't really like baby showers. So we're like doing more like they're technically showers, I guess, but, um, just more casual with like Eric being there and stuff. So one of my, one of my friends is hosting like a little dinner. We're just going out to a restaurant, um, to dinner with a group of our friends and their husbands and do, we'll do kind of like a little baby shower with them. And then we're also going to do like a family dinner with Eric's side of the family. Cause we've already sort of done a little baby shower celebration thing for me with my, my side of the family, which was back when I was like 16 or 17 weeks. So, um, so those will be fun. I'm looking forward to just hanging out with family and just taking some time to celebrate baby Cherick, which is what we call her. Um, we don't, I thought we had a name, um, but we don't really have like a settled, a name we've really settled on. So we have the two top names will probably be one of those, but we have not said a final <laughs> word on what her name will be. I thought we had it, but Eric and I are still tr trying to negotiate. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this update. Um, my next doctor's appointment will be, I think it's about a week and a half from now. Um, only because like, we were supposed to meet with him earlier, but he's going to be out of town. So I think we're meeting with him. Yeah. In about a week and a half. And, um, at that appointment, he'll check me for just, that's when he said he, he starts checking to see if I'm dilated or whatever. Um, which is crazy to think about. I mean, there are some days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I just wish she would come right now because I'm so uncomfortable and I don't know how much longer I can like do this. <laughs> but then there are days, you know, where I'm like, oh man, like I really hope she can bake in there for a long time. Um, and I just feel like that will just be the best thing for her to be the healthiest she can be, which is my number one priority, like I've said. So, I mean, I know that's like the number one priority for every mom, but, um, if she were to come now, like <laughs> we would be ready, we would be fine. I'm feeling pretty, um, uh, good about where we're at. As far as if she were to come right now, we, we'd be okay. Everything would work out. Um, and it's a good feeling, feeling like that because I haven't felt like that yet this whole pregnancy. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that. And, um, we are putting the finishing touches on her nursery this week. Everything's ordered, um, for the most part, um, and ready to go. So we're going to be hanging up some things on the walls and just getting her nursery all cute and ready. Um, so that's very exciting. So that's something I'm looking forward to in the next coming week. Um, and yeah, that's it. You guys, I can't really think of anything else, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. So if you have any questions for me, um, about how I'm feeling or, you know, anything to do with this pregnancy, um, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I love to chat with you guys down there. Also, Eric and I are going to be doing a Q and a because we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary next week. So if you have any questions for us, it can be about whatever you want. Go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, or follow us on Instagram. You can follow me at Chelsea Hope and I'll put my Instagram handle up here somewhere. Um, and you can ask me, put questions through there, send me a DM or ask me questions on any of my posts or whatever. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.